Hey yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che. We're coming back again with another video. I have been pumping out this content right now. But today we're doing a oof, updated what is in my backpack. You guys have been super curious because I've been switching around my backpack since the last time I've made this video. And I finally found one I want to settle on. But this is a new in-case backpack. I don't know the specific name because my friend actually just gave it to me. But it has been super comfortable and super beneficial for all the things that I need. Especially when I'm doing school and work and photography. So this is just kind of a all-in-one go-to backpack. Now when it comes to backpacks for me especially, I have tons of them. I literally have like three or four depending on the different scenario and different situations that I'll be needing it. So if it's just all school or all work or all all photography it's a different backpack now this is kind of just my all school everyday kind of backpack like I said it has a bunch of pockets and stores just about everything I need all right so obviously just starting off with the basics I carry my laptop every single day there's not a day I leave my room without it and the really cool thing about this backpack and something I've never seen is that it's actually like padded right here and it's got this really soft almost fur in lining and it just feels really nice and it obviously is going to keep my laptop super safe so I know that that's never going to be a problem. Now one of the main reasons I had to switch on my backpack this semester was that the courses I was taking ended up requiring a lot more textbooks and course packets and things that required me to have carry a lot more stuff every single day. So first off, for all my worksheets and all my homework and everything that I need to do for the week, I carry in this black Princeton University folder. I'm not going to show you guys my grades. but. But I just kind of split it up depending if I have Korean homework or French homework or math or whatever. I just stick this in there and I know that anything in here needs to get done or is already completed. Next up, this is what I was talking about. These are called course packets. Different courses require them, but they are essentially like they have your readings in them. They have the problem sets. They have um, different stuff that you will need for the course inside just one packet. So um, they're pretty good to have and you basically need them every day you go to class. So I carry one for my macroeconomics and my French 107 course. Now for Korean, this is our textbook and workbook. It's pretty small and light, which is super convenient. So I also carry this every day. I also have to carry a journal because like I said, for my Korean course, we are required to write journal topics. And so I do everything here, obviously a MacBook charger. So that all goes in the main compartment. Here is where I keep accessories and miscellaneous items. So this is the pouch that I use to carry my SSD and my dongle for when I need to be editing videos on the go. This is always with me every single day. This is just this little pencil case that I use to keep uh, my pencils and also my Apple Pencil for my iPad Pro, which I take all my notes on. If you're new to the channel, I've made videos talking about how I take notes, so definitely go check those out. But this, along with some pens and highlighters, is in my backpack all the time. Oh, I also forgot to mention, like I said, my iPad Pro. This is um, maybe the 10.5 inch. I bought it off eBay just because I needed something to be able to take my notes on. And honestly, having the Apple Pencil just makes life so much easier. The handwriting features are so seamless. I don't see myself upgrading to the new iPad Pro that just came out anytime soon, even though I would love to just because this is a daily driver and it does everything I needed to do. I also carry a portable charger just in case I need to be um, fueled on the go. This is also with me anytime I travel. What is this? Oh, of course. Every single day, I'm always rocking my RGB Rolls Gold and Black. They are the sponsor of today's video. And not that I carry them in my backpack, but they are an essential part of everything I carry every single day. Right now, as you can see, I am rocking one of their new products, Blue Band with the Silver Accent Color. This is actually one of their older products, but it's still one of my favorites because it's super minimalistic and makes you just stand out and pop like a baller. Now they're having the biggest sale they've ever done for Black Friday and it is 40% off. So if you go to that link in my description, it'll take you to a landing page where I personally picked out a lot of the items that I love and I think that you guys could rock on the daily as well. Now this is a super limited time offer. So if you guys have been waiting around to pick one up now is the best time to do it go check them out in the description down below and you guys won't regret it now finally is this little planner almost which i just use to kind of jot down some notes or brainstorm or ideas or like i said to manage your time sometimes i'll just plan out my week and what needs to get done and just cross them out from this little pocketbook finally a calculator for some of my econ and math courses snacks for when i get hungry in between classes on the go also, I like to keep just this little bottle of cologne. It's a perfect size to keep in a backpack just in case you know, I forgot to put on deodorant or forgot to wear cologne when I'm going out. It's just always good to have a backup in your backpack. Backup in your backpack. All right, that about wraps it up for this video. There's not too much in my backpack just because I like to keep it light and only carry the things I really need day to day. Most of the stuff I will just leave in my room and come back if I need it. Like I said, my camera backpack and everything else is a completely different video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.